Hi everyone, a quick video here on using ClickView and particularly getting stuff from the ClickView 24-7 section where you've got TV programs, etc. and then moving them over so that uh, other staff and other students can view those programs. So here I am in the library page, there's a link here to ClickView or you could just go to clickview.corpus.wa.edu.au. Uh, your login is your school username and password as it is for the students. After you log in, it straight away takes you to the library section in ClickView. So this is the ClickView curated content. This is all the stuff that's aligned directly to curriculum outcomes and is categorized in these subject areas. Okay, so um, there are things in here like movies. Well, there's two folders here for movies. There's a whole heap of uh, uh, cinema movies that you can find in this one here. Uh, our cur Curriculum Library Plus has some amazing stuff in there. I definitely think you should check this out um, if you haven't already. Exchange. This is where you're going to find all of the teacher added content from uh, TV shows, from uh, things like that. So you can see there's stuff from the Olympics, um, there's good catalyst shows, mega structures, Nazi mega structures. These are all things that people have added. I want to go through the process of how you get stuff into here so the students can see it. So um, if you go across to 24-7, so 24-7, the first time you go in here, it might ask you for which state are you in, so you choose um, Western Australia. Now I can go in and I can uh, choose, uh, let's say, Four Corners. I can search for Four Corners. It's gonna show me all the shows that are on uh, Four Corners. Now, it if, if you see a show that's on TV, it's going to be maybe 24 hours before it's available in here. So this is the show from the 20th of September, okay? Aired on the 20th of September, it was in the morning. So it might be the previous Monday's one that they've repeated. Okay, so it's not, it's, I'm doing this video on the 20th of September. So you can see the, the recent stuff is on there. This one, late line from the 19th of September, okay? So if I select the show, the options that I get is I can edit it or I can add it to my workspace, okay? So I'm going to do something called Add to Workspace. So um, it's going to give me a little tick and say, yep, it's going to be ready within 15 and 20 minutes. All right, so now we're going to go across to our workspace. Now it might take 10, 15 minutes before the video is available in there. So you might have to wait a little bit of time, but there it is, Four Corners. There's that Four Corners episode. I can now play, I can watch that video. Um, and check it out from there. Now here's the options over here. I can share the video uh, with this link. I can embed it. So, so I've now got options here to, to share and get out my students to, to see that video. However, if I want to add this to the exchange, so if I want to add this video to the exchange so it's there for other people, well, I get this message. Please use the ClickView Cloud Editor to remove any unwanted content. So it's, it's asking me to edit the video and take out the ads basically, and take out any unwanted sections. So that when it appears on the exchange, um, yeah, we don't have to worry about ads and that sort of thing. So you're doing a, a great service here by doing this. Okay, so now our video is in the workspace and we're editing it. And you can see here that if I play the video, I've got these controls here, that these are just the previews that are going on before the video. So what ClickView wants us to do is to take these out. So you can scrub along, you can see that Four Corners program starts right there. So I'm gonna pause it there. I'm gonna insert a break. Okay, and later on I can go and take out the bits that we don't need. So if I was on commercial TV, I could go along to where there was a advert here, pause it, uh, insert another break, and then insert a break again when the program starts. So it doesn't take long, uh, especially if you're looking at a channel 2 one, this is really easy. I'm basically just going to get to the end of the program. And you've got your controls down the bottom here where you can advance it quickly. So if I press the K key, it just jumps forward by 10 seconds. Okay, so now we've got to the end credits, which is what I want. The D key makes go back to one second. So if I press K, yep, that's the end of the program now. So I'll pause there and I'll insert a break there. Okay. So once I've got those breaks, you can see those little lines there. If you then go up to chapters, and I'm going to press X against this chapter one, which is their first bit, and X against this last chapter here. So now all I'm left with is that part of the program right there. And then I just need to click on save. So that then saves the video, 
and it says your video has been added to the queue so I can go back to the workspace Once I'm back in the workspace, um, here's one that I just did previously, Four Corners, September 19, 2016. So you can rename it, you can recategorize it as PG or M, uh, whatever you like. And now for the options I've got, when I go Add to the Exchange, I can just simply click on Add, Add to Exchange, and that video will then be available in the Exchange. So a little bit of editing, and the video is then available for students and for other staff to, to view. Thank you.